I love them. You know what I don't love? How we use them. Thrown out to be lost at sea in a braise or a soup, only to be discovered by the Coast Guard ages later as a translucent, distant memory of its one glorious self. I'd like to imagine a world where leaks get their own Hollywood star. Boy can dream. It's the mellow, uplifting embodiment of everything I love about the Onion family. A better sixth man than Lou Williams on the court, leeks add an element of sweet roundedness to any savory dish. Consider the caramelized sugars and earthy bitterness of a grilled leek. A leek wrapped to steam in the oven, a velvety, melting consistency that is remarkably savory. The leek can be cooked a thousand different ways and finds its place in every culture. In the right hands, leeks can be elevated to something even more extraordinary than a perfectly cooked ribeye. Today I'm here to show you everything you need to know about the leek. They're available year-round, but the peak season is during the winter. Leeks have two main parts. They have a white stem and green leaves. The green tops are tough. I know, they take up a lot of space in your fridge. But I have great news for all of you. It's soup season. Take the biggest cleaver you have in your kitchen, chop those greens off, throw them in a pot with water. Sit back, let the aroma and vibes sweep you away. When I'm buying leeks, I'm looking for three things. A long white stem, green tops that look alive, and no bulge at the bottom. This indicates an overgrown, tough center. I find the easiest way to clean them is slice them down the middle, get some cold running water, and then give that leek a massage, find all its nooks and crannies, and get the dirt out of every single pocket. Call me a weirdo, but I suggest touching your food as much as possible. <sighs> Where to start with the leek in the kitchen? Sliced, raw, and macerated, poached, and then served in its juices. Savid with hard herbs for a buttery leek that melts in your mouth and requires absolutely no effort to eat. Grilled over the fire for a deep, full-bodied character that traps the flavor of fire between every single layer. At the end of the day, if you want your leek to resemble the delicate nature of Timothy Chalamet, then you should oven steam or sous vide your leeks. But if you want a rich intensity reminiscent of a winter campfire, these vibes can be achieved by roasting, grilling, or searing. Explore the leek. Use it in something other than a stew, and you'll finally understand why the leek is my veg of the week.